The classic skill for entrepreneurs or professionals in marketing, media, or research is to create avatars, also referred to as alter egos or personas. They're basically an in-depth single personality profile meant to represent a target customer or a target audience worthy of our attention. In our video on sample qualifiers, we covered geographic, demographic, behavioral, and psychographic traits. To inspire the marketing team and the agency even further, you might be wise to create one or more avatars. For Stanka brand coffee, for example, we could create Eclectic Emma. Then go beyond the brief bullets of geographic, demographic, behavioral, and psychographic traits to better flesh out Emma. We could jot down our hunches about what's important to her, her backstory, views, values, self-image, what are her beliefs? My late dad would have said, what makes Emma tick? Knowing this, or at least having a hunch about all of this, would help you better understand what products, services, message content and tone, spokespersons, corporate charity partners, and even packaging claims might best resonate with Emma. How passionate is she about coffee? What, if any, causes does she think a coffee grower should be committed to? Fair trade? Global warming? The humane treatment of donkeys? What triggered Emma to last choose a premium-priced coffee? Company coming over? A whim of self-indulgence. What is the closest alternative to the perfect coffee experience for Emma? Whether marketer, researcher, entrepreneur, media manager, you can use avatars to better get yourself in the mindset and the expectations of your target audience.